Law Warrior Armor, Maxim Heavy Hover Transport. Overview. Although there are many different styles of infantry transport available, commanders hate using three or four vehicles to transport an infantry platoon during long trips. The Maxim Heavy Transport Hovercraft, however, is large enough to carry a full platoon of infantry and their support weapons. In addition to infantry transport, the Maxim is also an excellent fire platform. Mounting nine weapons, the Maxim can provide indirect long-range, short-range and covering fire for the infantry it transports. Capabilities Unlike other infantry transports, the Maxim is large and comfortable. The passengers have room to move around, check weapons and discuss tactics. The seats are all padded and face forward toward the centre of the vehicle, so the soldiers are relatively comfortable and are able to talk to each other, thus boosting morale. A large number of weapons were mounted on the Maxim for several reasons. First, infantry feel more secure if their transport can defend itself while they're inside. Second, the Maxim can provide covering fire for exiting troops. Troops exiting a vehicle are easy targets, and a transport that can fight back will discourage most attackers. Third, once the Maxim has debarked its infantry, it can support other vehicles. Although this isn't standard procedure, the Maxim carries enough firepower to make a difference. The weapons on the Maxim are arranged to give a great deal of firepower in all directions. The long-range missile racks are mounted on the rear of the hovercraft so that the back blast will not affect exiting troops. The four machine guns are fitted on dual mounts, one on either side of the Sure Shot 6 SRM launcher. This allows the Maxim to use its heaviest weapons on a single target. The lifting skids of the hovercraft are specially designed to deflate and lower when infantry are leaving the craft. This means that the Maxim does not have to shut down its engine in order to lower to ground level, as do most other hovercraft. Battle History Maxim hovercraft are a popular method of mass transportation for troops. Each of the five houses has some Maxims, but House Steiner has the largest registered fleet. More than once, Steiner have used their Maxim hovercraft to transport infantry and support weapons across long distances on planet. On one occasion, over 27 were used to transport an entire infantry regiment of the Arcturian Lancers across a continent to stop a mech company from attacking the city of Indraston on the planet Dixie. Dropped off in a nearby forest, the infantry immediately set up every weapon support that they had. Three days later, the enemy mechs arrived. Firing their heavy support weapons at extreme range, the Lancers immediately felled several mechs. Unable to pinpoint the attackers, the mechs charged the woods to avoid further casualties and to close with this invisible enemy. The infantry units damaged several more mechs before they reached the woods. The remaining mechs, however, destroyed most of the infantry support weapons, as the infantry would have to pull back. The mechs came crashing through the woods after them, firing at anything that moved. Hundreds of men were slaughtered while retreating from these marauders. Just as the mechs broke through the other side of the forest, they were immediately attacked by the 27 Maxim hovercraft that had transported the infantry. After sustaining six losses, the mech force retreated back to its drop zone. Variants Most Maxim variants simply use different weapon systems. Preferring short-range missiles over long-range missiles, some units replace the far-fire racks with more or heavier SRM packs. Sometimes more weapons are added to the turret. Notable vehicles and crew Trojan. On the planet New Wessex, the Steiner Maxim hovercraft Trojan left the city Halanan as a decoy to convince Curita troops that an infantry regiment was deserting the city. When the enemy arrived, however, the Steiner forces gunned down the invaders. Yeah, who would have thought a hover transport would be so friggin' deadly? But to give you an idea, uh, it's a SRM-6 on the turret, uh, three machine guns all mounted in the same turret, Triple LRM-5 on the front and one on the back, uh, an SRM-2 on the left and SRM-2 on the right side. It also counts the infantry, infantry platoon as a, as a, a weapon. It's a sort, of, sort of like you just press a button and they just spring out the back of it and they do damage. Uh, so yeah, it carries uh, a Sure Shot 6 short range missile rack, a 3 long fire 5 LRM rack, 2 Sure Shot 2 SRM-2s and 3 heavy machine guns. Produced by Maxim Transport Industries with a communication system of Maxim New Standard I.O. Targeting and tracking from Maxim New Standard Target Trek. Moves at 86.4 kph and flanks at 129 with armor provided by Arc Shield Mark V. Uh, it's a 50-ton hovercraft, and it's not that impressive looking, but uh, its capabilities are pretty uh, pretty deadly. The artwork's quite nice for it as well, to be honest. I know a lot of people don't really like the, the Dwayne Loose stuff because um, they feel like it's a little bit... 
sometimes it could look a little bit messy, but I think for the most part, he helped to define a lot of the vehicle style of Battletech, and he did a good job here. Yes, granted, some of the art doesn't make sense. For instance, why is there a missile rack on the left side of the artwork? We don't know. It's just what he did. And we just have to we just have to bless poor Dwayne for, for coming up with the design and then the writers just adding the weapons wherever the hell they felt. Or whatever way it went round. There was a miscommunication between artists and writers and it never got solved. But hey, who cares? Because a lot of the art is pretty nice and it defines a lot of battle tech. Uh, it's also something I might actually uh, look to use in the future. Uh, get those pesky players, you know, maybe uh, scare them a bit. But it's like, oh, it's just a transport vehicle of death. That's uh, carrying enough missiles to um, to down a mech, so it's pretty good. But uh, yes, the uh, Maxim uh, heavy hover transport. You wouldn't have thought it'd be so he well equipped, would you? Hearing the name, but there you go. That's uh, that's part of the shock factor of the thing. So um, other than that, uh, let's see. Uh, armor wise, it's not too bad. It's got 20 points on the front, 20 on the left and right sides, 12 on the back, and 16 on the turret. So it could take a few hits before it gets internal. It's not the most heavily armoured thing in the world, but uh, the fact that its front and left sides can take a few medium laser hits before it pens the armour makes it pretty resistant to damage, at least. Uh, it can stay in there for a while. And its movement of 8 and 12 is not too bad. It can keep up with most of the uh, mid-range mediums and high-end mediums and some of the low-end heavy mechs as well if they were being used as part of a demi-lance, maybe, or a, a mixed mech and a vehicle lance. So it's got manoeuvrability on its side as well, so it's not too bad. But, uh, yeah... We'll leave it there. Have a good one, everybody, and uh, we'll catch you for the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye. Bye. I said bye.